Democracy should die. I think. Democracy, in its purest form, is supposed to be everybody gets a vote, and everybody's vote is counted, and the popular thing wins, but we, as we know from the 2000 election, uh, that, that didn't happen. We don't have a popular vote system. We have a, a representative liberal democracy, which has all kinds of weird rules and could result in the non-popular thing winning, which I think might be actually good despite it having bitten us in the ass in 2000. As an example, the popular people on the Republican side of the, the uh, aisle during this election cycle are, to me, slightly frightening to think of as the president, the next possible president of the United States. Yeah, Donald Trump is just a, a scary idea to me. Not to lots of people. I mean, he's a very popular figure. He's also been designed that way. He's, he's supposed to be popular on television. I don't think that that translates very well into being an effective president of the United States. Uh, you can lead a company and you can lead a television show, but leading the world is a different uh, scenario. I also think that perhaps popularity online, uh, as I sort of talked about last week, doesn't always translate into electability, mainly because it's really easy to be popular on the internet, because the internet is one, worldwide, two, not age-restricted, and three, easy to access for most people uh, from their living room or their bedrooms or whatever. Whereas actually electing someone like a Bernie Sanders or like a Ralph Nader a few election cycles ago uh, is considerably more difficult because you have to leave your house and vote. And as the previous election, midterms in 2014, showed us, we're really bad at that in America. So I think the question for this week is, is it worth it to be popular or is it valuable to be popular as a presidential candidate? Or is it more valuable to be an effective leader and not be so popular? Does that make sense? Like Obama was really popular for a while and then kind of fell out of favor once he got into office because he had to make unpopular choices from both sides. Uh, clearly the Republicans hate him for various reasons and, and even some of the more left-leaning liberals uh, were disappointed, at the very least, if not angry, at some of the policy choices he was forced to make. This, I think, is good, though. Being unpopular is, is sometimes necessary to be a good leader. So perhaps the popular vote is not what we should be striving for, but rather the intelligent and good choice whatever that may be. I, I don't know what it is. I, I'm not smart enough to know what the intelligent and rational choice would be. Um, but I do know that if a guy like Bernie Sanders gets elected, he's going to have a significant uh, troublesome time to be the president that he wants to be. Um, despite his noble efforts, I think he would be uh, he would find it very difficult, just as Obama found it very difficult to follow through on some of the promises he made when he was campaigning. So, the question is, does popularity matter, I think? Uh, maybe that's the question. I don't know. What is the question? Uh, the, the question to you is, what is the question I should be asking to get to the next phase here? I just don't know. I've made this video like five times. Uh, this is what it looked like once. Uh, the online popularity doesn't, isn't, I'm not, I, hmm. Obviously that's an untenable situation because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about because I don't script these videos. I just kind of think out loud into the camera and then edit a little bit and show it to you and hope that it made some kind of sense. Goodbye.